Hello friends, I am Rahul and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this new video, we will see some interview questions on AWS VPC service. Let's start with the questions. Our first question is, what is AWS VPC? VPC stands for Virtual Private Cloud and this provides you with underlying networking services like routing and switching. You can look at it as a virtual data center in the AWS cloud. Amazon VPC gives you full control over your virtual networking environment including resource placement, connectivity and security. This is a basic service and you will not be able to launch any EC2 machine outside the VPC. This is an isolated space where you can launch your resources with the utmost security and privacy. You can monitor, restrict and control the incoming and outgoing traffic in the VPC. Next question is, what are the components of Amazon VPC? As shown in the slide, VPC has below components, subnet, internet gateway, virtual private gateway, NAT gateway, peering connection, VPC endpoints, and egress only internet gateway. This service provides the scalability, connectivity, and security to the resources provisioned in the VPC. Next question is types of VPC endpoints available on Amazon VPC. There are three types of endpoints are available interface endpoints, gateway load balancer endpoints, and gateway endpoints. This VPC endpoint is useful when a server or other resource want to access any other AWS resource in a private networking. The next question is connectivity options for my Amazon VPC. First is Internet Gateway. We can use Internet Gateway to provide internet access to the VPC and the hosted resources. Second option is VPC Connection. We can use Site-to-Site -site VPN to establish the private connectivity to AWS VPC. Third option is we can use peering connections or VPC peering to establish the connectivity between multiple VPC on private level. Fourth option is we can use the virtual private gateway and internet gateway together to connect to the VPC. Next topic is internet access to VPC. As we have seen in the last slide, we can use internet gateway to connect to the VPC to the internet. Here we will see the procedure to provide internet access to the VPC. First, we need to assign a public IP to our EC2 machine. Then we have to create an internet gateway and need to attach the same to the VPC. We can attach only one internet gateway to the VPC. Then we can make the changes in the route table to pass the traffic of the subnet to the internet gateway. Please refer to the image available on the screen for the traffic flow. Next question is what is VPC peering? A VPC peering connection is a networking connection between two VPCs that enables you to route traffic between them using private IPv4 addresses or IPv6 addresses. Instances in either VPC can communicate with each other as if they are within the same network. You can create a VPC peering connection between your own VPCs or with a VPC in another account. The VPCs can be in different regions, also known as inter-region VPC peering connection. Next question is, what is a default VPC? A default VPC is a logically isolated virtual network in the AWS cloud that is automatically created for your AWS account the first time you provision Amazon EC2 resources. When you launch an instance without specifying a subnet ID, your instance will be launched in your default VPC. Next question is, what is Classic Link? Classic Link allows you to link an EC2 Classic instance to a VPC in your account within the same region. This allows you to associate the VPC security groups with the EC2 Classic instance, enabling communication between your EC2 Classic instance and instances in your VPC using private IPv4 addresses. Classic Link removes the need to make use of public IPv4 addresses or elastic IP addresses to enable communication between instances. Next question is, 
What is Amazon VPC Traffic Mirroring? Traffic mirroring is an Amazon VPC feature that you can use to copy network traffic from an elastic network interface of Amazon EC2 instances. You can then send the traffic to out-of-band security and monitoring appliances for content inspection, threat monitoring and troubleshooting. The security and monitoring appliances can be deployed as individual instances or as a fleet of instances behind a network load balancer with a UDP listener. Traffic mirroring supports filters and packet truncation so that you only extract the traffic of interest to monitor by using monitoring tools of your choice. The following are the key concepts for traffic mirroring. First is target, the destination for mirror traffic. Second is filter. A set of rules that defines the traffic that is copied in a traffic mirror session. Third is session, an entity that describes traffic mirroring from a source to a target using filters. Next question is, how does Amazon VPC traffic mirroring works? Traffic mirroring copies inbound and outbound traffic from the network interfaces that are attached to your Amazon EC2 instances. You can send the mirror traffic to the network interface of another EC2 instance or a network load balancer that has a UDP listener. The traffic mirror source and the traffic mirror target can be in the same VPC or they can be in different VPCs that are connected through intra-region VPC peering or a transit gateway. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel to get more interview related videos.